As this heat lingers, the risk for more fires is rising. KVU's Ford Sanders caught up with Austin's wildfire division to see what that risk is looking like this summer. A region no stranger to wildfires. And as hot, dry weather lingers, the Austin Fire Department's wildfire division is all too aware of what crews may face soon. I'm absolutely convinced that Austin has very high fire danger. Um, the state has mapped it, we've mapped it, all the science points that we have an issue. Justice Jones is AFD's wildfire mitigation officer. He and Wildfire Division Chief Kerry Stewart say this year we've been lucky, but that may not last. As we see our fuel moistures continue to decline, that's when we know that we'll see increased fire activity. AFD leaders say our city is one that leads the nation for fire preparedness and response. Austin is the largest municipality in the world to have adopted the Wildland Urban Interface Code, and that requires all new development and major retrofits to be designed with um, ignition resistant construction. He says the city also leads the way in preparation and evacuation plans and finding new tools to respond to fires faster. UTVs like this one right here may seem like a simple tool, but firefighters say they're extremely effective. Rather than always bringing in the big classic fire truck, these actually allow them to maneuver in terrain that's much harder to navigate. To help Austinites prepare, AFD and the city's emergency management office launched the Ready, Set, Go program to educate people about wildfire evacuations. Both Stewart and Jones say upwards of 90% of wildfires in Central Texas are sparked by humans. Know that maybe we curtail our barbecuing or our activities outside, make sure that you're not dragging a chain, not throwing your cigarette butts out the window of your car. So both note it's important for Central Texans to be prepared for a wildfire, but they can take comfort in knowing that these teams train every day to make sure everyone is taken care of in a worst case scenario. In South Austin, I'm Ford Sanders.